Today, Greene County General Hospital welcomed Indiana National Guard support to its facilities. We first told you about the announcement last night. Today, we talked with the CEO of the hospital about the role of the National Guard. News 10's Blake Dollier is here to explain. Six Indiana National Guard members will be supporting Greene County General Hospital. They'll be on site for two weeks. Sometimes people have a misconception about the Indiana National Guard being at health care facilities. We spoke with CEO Brenda Reitz to break down what the six people will be doing. Two of them are medics who can help with patient care. This includes things like taking vital signs and helping move patients. The other four will offer non-clinical help in areas like environmental and dietary services. The incident command team at the hospital thought it was time to request help. They meet daily to assess patient and staff needs as well as any COVID-19 developments. Staff from different areas make up the team to guide the hospital's decisions. It's uh, one of those moments that you just you plan for in your emergency operations manuals and you never really think the day is going to be there that you actually do ask for that help. The hospital says most of its COVID-19 patients are unvaccinated and they recommend getting vaccinated to help prevent a serious illness. Reporting in the newsroom, Blake Dollier, News 10.